So now we can think about where these items go on our graph. So if our price to the consumer is $2.73, that just goes up here. And we'll notice that the price to the consumer has gone up from $2.50 to $2.73. So we can say that the tax incidence for the consumer is the difference between these two prices, or you know, by my calculations, 23 cents. So as a result of this 50 cent tax, the consumer ends up paying 23 cents more for a gallon of gasoline. The price to the producer is $2.23, so that goes here. We'll notice here that the producer used to get $2.50 for its gallon of gasoline, and now it only gets to keep $2.23. So we can say that the tax incidence on the producer is $0.27 cents per gallon, because that's the difference between these two prices. Put another way, the, the producer is now getting 27 cents a gallon less than it used to because of the tax. Notice that the two tax incidences together add up to the 50 cent tax, but neither the consumer nor the producer is bearing the full 50 cents impact. The last thing that we want to label is the quantity with our tax, which is just this guy here. So we can say that this is our 17,273. So we notice that in fact the tax does reduce the quantity produced and consumed in this market. These are generally the things that you want to be labeling and thinking about whether you explicitly have to do so algebraically or whether you're just given points to plot and think about.